Hi guys, welcome back. So I am finally doing another vlog. It's the first vlog in this flat. It's been so chaotic, I can't even tell you. We are getting there, but it's kind of slow progress all the way. Most of this vlog actually isn't gonna take place in the flat though, because we are about to go to the US. So first time in Florida, I'm so excited. We're doing Miami and then Orlando. So I'm going to be taking you along for bits of that, but See our Christmas tree in the background. I want to show you our beautiful tree. How pretty is that looking? It's having a little bit of trouble with the focusing on the lights, but so pretty. Oh my goodness. This wasn't even, well, it's not actually our tree. We have a Christmas tree company, which many of you will know from last year. And we were doing like a product photo shoot and we were supposed to take this down straight after, but I just didn't want to. So I'm just gonna, gonna leave it here. And I suspect Dan is going to keep it up as well because it's just so lovely. And this is a new tree that we have this year. Usually um, we do the Nordman first, which are non-drop, but this year we have the Fraser fir as well, which is also non-drop. And the smell is so amazing. It's so nice. See a little bar cot as well. It is slowly coming together. But yes, yeah, so if you guys want a Christmas tree of your own, we only deliver to the UK, unfortunately. We used to only deliver within London, but this year we've expanded to Nationwide, which is so exciting. I will leave an exclusive discount code if you did want to get a tree for 10% off any order. So I'll leave that down below. Random, but we are in the middle of doing Chanel Arts and Crafts. So this is just at their beauty counter at Heathrow. And my mum is doing a white one and I'm doing a red one. You can basically thread your own Chanel card. How cool is that? So I'm just in the middle of doing mine. All right, this is the finished product. It's so cute. And then they just kind of seal it up. And then you can write a message inside so you can give it to someone. And they even give you an envelope as well. My mum's still doing hers. It's the cutest little thing. Okay, so we checked into the Four Seasons and I did a little tour last night, but it was so dark you couldn't really see anything, so I'm gonna do it again today. It's this beautiful room. So there are two bathrooms. I'm gonna turn the light on so you can see. So two bathrooms, super pretty. You have a shower in this one. And then here you have the living room with this beautiful dining area. And then you have a little coffee making set and some water and other refreshments over here. Then you have a proper little lounge area. You can see the outside, it's so pretty. And there is a desk area where I was doing some work this morning, TV. And then you head into the bedroom. How beautiful is that? And then you have another little TV as well. I love the colour of these panels, how beautiful. And then we have a lake view. Look at that lake view, how amazing. It's so pretty here, oh my goodness. Absolutely incredible. And then we have the bathrooms, and I think this is probably my favourite feature of the entire room. It's these arches which, oh my goodness, if I ever get to design my home one day, this is what 
I want it to be like. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. So you have closet areas here, so you have drawers, and then you have all of our less than tidy stuff right here. And then this is the bathroom. This is honestly the bathroom of dreams. I've taken photos for my inspiration board. <laughs> How beautiful is that tiling or mosaic? So, so stunning. I'm not even a bathtub person, but genuinely the nicest bathtub I think I've ever seen. I love the curves, so nice. Hi guys, so it is the next morning. We had an amazing night's sleep. Oh my goodness, the bed's so comfortable. And we are going to go downstairs now and hit up the breakfast buffet. Um, I think we're just gonna have a chill morning. We're gonna do Disney over two days. We were originally gonna do three, but Honestly, we just wanted a day of kind of relaxing around the hotel and we're gonna visit some outlets later. So we're gonna take today, easily I'm just in the bathroom because how amazing is this mirror? It's like the total door, it's a beautiful archway. New life goal to have a bathroom like this. It's absolutely incredible. Um, but yeah, so gonna take you along with me. We're gonna do Disney tomorrow and Thursday. Today's Tuesday, yeah. Um, so breakfast buffet now, then maybe some outlets. Just chilling today and then tomorrow we're doing Disney. Just do a little outfit of the day as well. Just got my rock studs on, absolutely love these things. My skinny jeans, they look black but they are blue. Leopard blouse, Saint Laurent bag, gold necklace, just my usual. I will link everything below. Look at all these beautiful Christmas decorations. And oh my goodness, this Christmas tree is the stuff of dreams. Look how stunning. It's just so pretty. I'm a sucker for a good Christmas tree. Hazards of any Christmas tree business. Um, and then look at these amazing light installations. How incredible are they? And then you have just the most insane view. And then around there is where all the pools are as well, but it's a little bit nippy <laughs> to be swimming at the moment. This place is so cute. And there's a juice bar right in front of us where you can get fresh juices as well. We're gonna go for the mimosas instead, but it's a very nice idea if you wanted to do that. So we're at breakfast. Oh my god, the selection is amazing. I didn't realise breakfast is my favourite meal until I came here. I wanted to try this place, but I had really good reviews. Um, I meant to book, but I just completely forgot. But it was fine, we got it no problem, and there is literally everything I want to eat. So I thought I'd do a little update. I was so bad at vlogging today, I'm so sorry, but it was a bit of a long and random day. It starts off pretty well with the breakfast buffet, which if you stay at the Four Seasons at Disney, you have to go there. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'll leave it down below. It was absolutely amazing, highly, highly recommend. We're gonna try and do it again before we leave. Um, but that was so good. And then after that, we decided to go shopping. My mum wanted to go to Nordstrom Rack to get a pair of jeans. So we did that, um, and then we went to the premium outlets, but it all took a really long time. There was a crash and just lots of traffic. And then by the time we got to the outlets, it was dark and it was so cold, I guess, because there was no sun as well, but the wind was so sharp. And because they're all outside, we didn't really want to hang around. So we didn't really do that much shopping. We just kind of went into a couple of stores and then grabbed something to eat. Then we tried to head home, but we had some car issues and that we had low tire pressure. So that took Asia to sort out and oof, it's just been a long day. So very happy to be back in the hotel room now. I had a couple of packages sent here, so I thought I'd show you what I got. So I got this backpack, which I thought was so cute. I meant to bring my Marc Jacobs one, um, which I usually use for Disney, and I just totally forgot to pack it. And I saw this one, I thought it was adorable. And this was on sale, and then they had an additional 30% off, so. I love that, it's just a mini one, but I thought it was super, super cute. And then I got this dress, which I actually ordered before, but I ordered the size down and it was way too small. So I saw that it 
went on extra sale so I decided to get this one. I will insert a photo of the model because I can't be able to try it on right now but it's very cute so I'm excited about that. And then finally I got these Spanx faux leather leggings. I'm so excited about these. I've heard so much about them. I don't know how I'm going to get on with them because I tried other things from Spanx before and I honestly don't know how people wear them because I find them so tight and uncomfortable like I just can't imagine spending hours in them so hopefully these are going to be a bit more forgiving than their actual shapewear um, but I've heard so many people absolutely rave about these so I'm very very excited I'm always up finding a good pair of leggings and these are kind of the the faux leather kind of pebbled look so very excited that I was able to find these on sale. So yeah, so that is it for today. I think I have a bit of work to catch up on now and I have to book our tickets for Disney tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're going to spend the next few days at Disney, which I'm super excited about. So I'm going to have an early night and then get an early start tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. So I'm back in my favourite bathroom selfie spot. So it's very good for vlogging. Um, we are ready to go to Disney. It's about quarter to nine. Got up fairly early. You managed to book the tickets and everything like that. So we are wrapped up warm we just went out on the balcony and it is freezing outside so we wanted to make sure that we just don't spend the whole day feeling extremely chilly so I just have on my 50 50 boots some leggings a cashmere sweater the halogen ones which are my favorite and then coat and a little leopard print backpack so we're ready to go so it's not the busiest Disney shuttle we've ever been on <laughs> literally the only people here but at least we get our choice of the seats it's a beautiful day and we have a bit of Disney, just to pass the time. We made it! <laughs> Looking magical as always. Look at the Christmas decorations. How beautiful. Finally got our coffee, ready to face the day of Disney. Churro of the Disney experience. I don't think this is going to be the last. Alright, so we're in an Uber going back to the hotel. It's about 5 30, I think beginning to get a little bit dark and we basically just want some food and a few drinks as well. Um, they do obviously have food options at Disney and a few you recommended be our guest and they did have availability but I know just nothing on the menu really struck our fancy so we decided to go back to the hotel where we know they have really good food. So gonna chill there for a couple of hours and then we're gonna wrap up really warm to go back and watch the fireworks because it was so cold last night and we don't want to make that same mistake so we're gonna layer up, first have a few drinks have some food, layer up, and then head back for the fireworks. I did not think it would be lit up like this. So stunning. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. So we are back and ready for another day of Disney. We had so much fun yesterday. The fireworks were amazing. By far the best fireworks we've ever seen. It was just incredible. So back and ready for more. <laughs> we're gonna try and make use of our park hopper ticket today. We had a park hopper yesterday, but we ended up staying the whole time in Magic Kingdom. I asked on my Instagram stories and you guys said Epcot is a must see. So we're gonna do that. Very excited to see it. I think we might go to the main park as well. I'm not sure yet. Um, but gonna try and take it easy. We're not really in a rush to see anything. I think we're gonna do breakfast now if they have availability because that breakfast was so good. We definitely wanted to try and do it again. I'm dressed fairly warm again. Again, just because it's pretty cold still not as cold as yesterday thank goodness and um, it's still a bit chilly so I just have jeans on not that you can really see that but jeans the same 50 50 boots black cashmere sweater and a vest so 
hopefully I'm not gonna be too chilly. And then I also have my backpack as well, which did so well. It was such a good purchase and my mini mouse is too. So we're gonna get going. So we are back at Ravello for their breakfast buffet again because it was just so good. And they have a character breakfast at the moment. So they have some of the Disney characters walking around, which is super fun. <laughs> Look at these beautiful decorations. All these Christmas wreaths and garlands. Not wreaths, garlands, that's the word. The wreath is over there, but it's kind of in shadow. So we just finished up breakfast and we are waiting for the shuttle now to take us to Disney. They're pretty regular, so it's pretty good. We did have to take Ubers yesterday, but we literally missed the shuttle by like three minutes. It was super annoying, but this time we are early, so that's good. The breakfast was so good as always. It was a character breakfast today, so there was Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse and Goofy there. Goofy was so tall, oh my goodness. Um, but it was so nice and all the kids were so excited. Obviously a bit less relevant for us, um, but it was nice because of how much access you got. I think all the characters came around at least twice, if not three times. So really good if you do have kids. Um, but yeah, so now we are headed to the parks. I think we're actually gonna go to the main Disney park again, just because we didn't get to do every single ride we wanted to yesterday. Um, and then we're gonna, oh, the shuttle's just here. Um, and then we're probably gonna do Epcot. Um, and we'll see how the day goes, but yeah, we're excited. waiting for the shuttle bus at the moment. We just finished up at Hollywood Studios. We were gonna do Epcot, but I think we're just too tired. We just wanna go get in the warmth, get some nice food. Um, so I think we're gonna head back to the hotel now, but Hollywood Studios is actually really good. Like lots of people were saying that maybe it wasn't gonna be worth it to go, but we loved it. We're not huge rides people, so we weren't that bummed that lots of rides weren't in action, but we love shows. Um, and we saw a bunch of shows like Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid, and they were really good. Like Beauty and the Beast was amazing. If anyone's coming to Hollywood Studios, definitely see Beauty and the Beast, because it was so, so good. So we really enjoyed that. And now we are very much looking forward to some nice food. Never get tired of walking into this view. So beautiful. Hi guys, so we made it back from the theme park. It's very cold outside and oh my goodness, we are so tired. There is nothing like walking round around a theme park to completely knock you out. So I'm gonna head down to the bar now and grab a few drinks and some food. So we decided to abandon Disney food in favor of the lobby bar again. I know we shouldn't have tried the same place twice, especially as we've done it with another restaurant the Four Seasons, but the food is so good, so we just wanted the exact same thing. So we went for lobster rolls again, and we're also having the steak because it was just ridiculously nice last night. All right, you guys, this is it. Last time vlogging from this magical bathroom. <laughs> we are all packed up and ready to go. We have a four hour drive back to Miami because we're flying out of Miami airport. It's a bit of a long one, so we're gonna get going, do a quick little travel outfit. This isn't very practical, but I didn't want to pack my shoes, so wearing my rock studs, my skinny jeans, just a little black t-shirt, and my coat because it's still really nippy outside so I'm wondering if it's going to be cold or warmer in London but we'll see so gonna head out now thank you so much for watching I'm gonna leave the vlog here and I will see you in my next one bye <laughs>